Ben from PressTube is at it again, another awesome casting project this time. Landscapers rejoice, that is the John Deere logo. 3D printed, it's now being dusted and embedded in fine red casting sand. That dusting, keeping it from sticking to the sand. Time to seal up this half of the cast. Now, often there's a second half of the 3D printed original, but in this case, the backing flat as it's plaque style. So simply some dusting, brushing the excess away, then the second half of the box and a whole lot more of that fine red casting sand go down and then are pressed into place. Hopefully every last detail of the original is captured. Time to remove it. For that, a couple of holes carefully pre-drilled, then two screws sunk in, a few taps and voila, it's pulled out. Now to create those channels for the molten metal to flow into. The metal of choice, in this case, a lovely brass, which will contrast the black that'll be poured around it and painted around as well. Time to melt that brass down. So much brass, that hauler is needed. Check out all those old bullet casings. Because they're not pure brass, once they're heated up, something called slag, which is in essence impurities in the metal, will rise to the top. Those need to be scooped out. You don't want those in the finished product. Time to pour. In goes that molten brass. Look at those incredible yellow flames. All that smoke. Definitely not something you try at home. Take a look at that. Now that the fire is out and the cast is just about done, the initial reveal is spectacular. Time to cut the excess away. Some of that black will be replaced with a much cleaner looking epoxy resin. That's once the outside and that face are polished with some high grit sandpaper to a lovely mirror finish. The belt sander needed as well to clean up the outside edges. Definitely the quickest way to get that done and then here comes that black base paint. Now for a little more wet sanding and then some serious polishing. And know that black paint on the inlay isn't where it ends. Just look at that. Stunning some black epoxy resin poured in till it meets the top edge. Time for the reveal, the original and the incredible finished product, a stunning brass and black epoxy resin John Deere logo. You can almost see yourself in that finish. Absolutely gorgeous. Another incredible project from PressTube.